Hey guys, so I wanted to make another video of how you can um, upload social media icons to your header. I found a much simpler way to do that, and so we're going to get into that today. Elements dash generators dot myshopify.com. It's a simple generator for basic things, pretty much. So what I'm doing here is copying my Instagram account. I'm going to the same website and pasting it in there so that I'll be able to generate the code for the icon. Um, I'm doing the same thing for my email address at the bottom. And basically what this does is to the right, you see that the code is changing as I'm adding information. Then I'm coming to my YouTube channel and I'm going to copy that link and I'm going to put it in where it says YouTube URL. And the code generates each time I add a new piece of information. Okay, so before you grab the code and copy to clipboard, click on customize the look. I think I missed it when I first did it and realized I needed to do something else. So then you'll find your um, hex code numbers and you'll just type them in. If you're on your mobile device or your tablet, it can be a little tricky to use it. It's better if you're on the computer. But if you know the code numbers, click them, you know, copy and paste them or type them in. And you have the option to change if you want to circle around the icon or rounded corners or square or if you just want the icon without any shape behind it at all. I don't think I was able to adjust. It wasn't letting me select it. But once you figure out how you want it to look, then you grab the code. So now what you're going to do is going to click copy to clipboard right here. And then that saves it to your computer. Then you're going to go into Shopify. You're going to go into online store, click themes, click actions. Because actions is where the code is for your page. Click edit code. And then you're going to click on theme.liquid and then type control F or command F so that you can be able to search this document. We're going to look for the body tag. So I'm looking, I'm about to do it now. Yeah, we're going to look for, so in order to find it, you have to type it exactly how it would be. So you're going to put the carrot symbol, lowercase b, and lowercase everything so it can find the exact word. Um, and then once you do that, you're going to paste in the um, the code into the body section above the header, pretty much. So that's where you want to be. What I like to do is I spaced after header, and then I like to put, you want to put it, you know, below the header, sorry. I like to leave a comment so that I know what I'm updating and what I'm changing. So I do curly bracket, percent sign, the word comment, percent and curly brackets and then make sure there's spaces between the percentage signs and then you're going to put your comment whatever you're saying i'm letting myself know that i'm adding some custom code and then when i'm done with this portion i'm going to end the comment with the same curly brackets percent sign and the words end comment with spaces around the word end comment and close it out with the percent and the curly brackets And then below that, I'm going to write um, another comment telling me where the Shopify code resumes. So after you save, you're going to go back to your main um, Shopify and you see that the links are at the top. Now they're not matching my brand colors, so I do go back later and change the colors. Um, if I have the video, then I'll show it. But you see, I click the YouTube link and it goes to the YouTube link. And so that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment down below for any videos you want me to make in the future.